welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another Star Wars The Black Series video, and I'll be honest with you, I've become in recent years a very picky and choosy when it comes to anything Star Wars, but when you bring back an old school video game slash expanded universe character like Darth Malgus, you definitely have my attention. Now, it is a little bit of a boring box with some fantastic artwork, of course, and on the back side, you get a little bit of a write-up, right? Kind of, sort of, with some awkward text, right? We probably could have said that a bit differently, but hey, there's a photo of the figure right there. And here's the barcode for Darth Malgus. Now, you won't find this guy in stores. You're gonna have to go online to grab him. However, I did get mine from Entertainment Earth, and if you stay tuned throughout the end of the video, I will tell you how you can save a bunch of cash using Entertainment Earth for their Cyber Week sale. But in the meantime, this is gonna be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, straight from Star Wars The Black Series, Darth Malgus by Hasbro. And while I got all you old Republicateers here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So here's Darth Malgus all out of the packaging. There's not a lot, and more on that in just a few. But he does come with his lightsaber, which, yeah, that's definitely something for Darth Malgus. You get his particular brand of lightsaber, and of course, the removable red saber. It is on the large side, which fits this guy. He's a larger character, so he needs a larger lightsaber. So in that sense, totally works. Now, Darth Malgus himself, he's always struck me as being a very intimidating character, very much Darth Vader in the armor sense, but he's just very interesting himself. And I do appreciate a very cool looking Star Wars character as that's what I think of with Star Wars in general. Cool monsters, cool aliens, cool looking dudes in cyber suits with a big old cloth cape. That's really well done. And I love the way they did the hood. I think the hood really drapes nicely and you can pull it back. It doesn't alter anything, put it up, put it down. You get to see his face, which kind of reminds me of Bill Burr for some reason. But then he has his whole Bane mask going on, which... I'm sure you could figure out a way to get it off. You can kind of sort of move it around. You can see he's got like the Homer Simpson sort of five o'clock shadow, which is a bunch of scars and whatnot. But just leave the mask on. That's Darth Malgus himself, unless you want to go the early years, of course. But I really like what they did here with the shoulder pads, with the arms. He only has single jointed elbows, but they do spin. He has hands that rotate and spin. And again, the shoulder pads, when I first got him, I thought, oh, it's all warped out of the box. No, you can actually move the shoulder pads around amidst the arm joint. So I appreciate that. It really helps to add with the articulation. Now, the ab crunch, the waist, the diaphragm, sure, that's all there. Enough of it, at least. And with the legs, you can get him doing the splits. Nothing in the thigh. You get knees that are single and they spin, and you have the feet that go up and down. And unfortunately on mine, he's a little bit looser in the legs that I would appreciate for a brand new figure. In terms of the head, you get plenty of articulation there. And like I said, I really like the way they did the hood. I think that that looks great. Now, one thing I will nitpick is that he has some really basic hands. Instead of a, a really graspy sort of force hand, it, it looks like he's pinching somebody, right? It doesn't really look too cool. When you look at the Black Series Darth Vader, the first release, he has that outstretched hand like he's going to force choke the heck out of you. Where are those hands at for these Star Wars releases? They're just trigger hands at this point with no trigger weapons. It looks weird, right? It's something McFarlane does. Come on, Hasbro. Let's give these Star Wars characters a choosings of hands. But in terms of displayability with the lightsaber, with the articulation that Darth Malgus has, I definitely think that he looks cool. He looks menacing. Hood up, hood down. That's a very cool looking Malgus, but then there's not a whole lot of ways to display him. Give him some force lightning. Give him other alternate hands to have him doing all that force effects. It's just not there. And when you want to see him compared to other Star Wars Black series, yes, 
He is a bigger figure, and I appreciate that. It's just not a redo, repurpose. They've added a little height to this guy, so he's his own figure, which of course leads me to believe that we will eventually see another Darth Malgus release at some point in the future, but I just wanted it all in one go now. Now, if you have stayed throughout this video, thank you very much, and I'm going to do my little spiel here about Entertainment Earth. Now, this is Cyber Week. You have until uh, about December 3rd, depending on when you see this. There are lots of in-stock toys for sale. Super 7, Star Wars, Hasbro, McFarlane, you name it, they definitely got it. And there's a lot of great prices, which makes one imagine, hmm, maybe it's just better to wait for these sales. However, I always tell everyone, get the ones you want now before they sell out, because unfortunately, as of this video, Darth Malgus is gone. But there are other Star Wars figures for sale, just FYI, including this really cool Darth Malak, which I will be picking up. I think that that looks really cool. Or if you missed her the first go around, you have another chance at Dr. Afra. Both of those are in stock. Now, keep in mind, you do get 10% off with my links on all in stock items. So you can kind of stack that with the deals along with using the code WINTER79 which gives you free shipping over 79 bucks. So you have to spend at least 79. So it's better to kind of wait up for these types of sales and get it all in one go. However, I will tell you, if you are going for one or two things, the shipping can kind of be kind of ridiculous. Just FYI. But I use Entertainment Earth myself. Highly recommend them. They ship fast. They ship well. Definitely check them out. Guarantee you'll find something there that you like. So... That's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series, Darth Malgus. And like I said, Star Wars in a whole lot of modern ways is just not doing it for me anymore. But you go old school Star Wars, you go a little bit expanded universe, old school video games like Darth Malgus here, you've definitely got my attention. He is missing hands, he's missing force effect powers, he needed a little bit more oomph in the box because this is bare bones minimum. But that is what we've come to expect for Star Wars these days. And it's a real shame. This is a nice figure, but perhaps wait to get him if you can on a sale price. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Darth Malgus. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, and speaking of gaming greats, where is Dash Rendar? Where is he? Come on, Hasbro. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.